Hi, I'm Pastor Dave with Declaration Church, and this is the holiday season. Thanksgiving was yesterday, if you're watching this video, the day it comes out. It is, it's here. The holiday season is here. You don't have all the time in the world before Christmas. We're down to like four weeks before Christmas hits, which means I only have four more weeks at this current age number, whatever that is. I'm not going to tell you, but my birthday is Christmas Day, so that's coming up. But as we go into the holiday season, our focus a lot of times shifts in really major ways. And we start thinking about all the stuff we have to do, the tasks, making sure that we get the perfect gift, making sure that the perfect meal happens, making sure all these things go on. And just from yesterday, we start to realize how much increase becomes a part of our lives over the next month and a half increase is huge. This is the season of increase. We increase our waistlines a lot of times because there's so much food everywhere. People are bringing in Christmas cookies, Christmas snacks, popcorn tins, nuts, all kinds of things all the time to work. And people are bringing us gifts a lot of times that are edible because that's simple to do. So you've got gifts that are coming in. We have huge feasts like yesterday's on Thanksgiving. You probably had a huge feast yesterday and you've had food, football, family, friends, all involved in a huge celebration yesterday. So through thank from Thanksgiving all the way through Christmas, we have increase in our waistlines, increase a lot of times in our debt load, increase in so many things, increase in the amount of stuff that we have in our houses, increase in the amount of time spent on decorating, cleaning, all kinds of social time. We have an increase in so many things in our lives. And you know what else we increase in? Stress. Almost all the time we increase our stress load as well, don't we? It's so difficult because we want to enjoy this time. We want to talk about it being one of the happiest times of the year, one of the most joyful times of the year. And yet because of all of the things that happen in life, and because of the added stress that we put on ourselves and that our society and our culture put on us, we often struggle to experience the joy and the happiness that this season is supposed to represent. And yet in our lives, as I was thinking about increase, I came across this particular verse that just really helped me center in ways that a lot of other things have not. It's something I want to keep in mind as I go through this holiday season, because I think it'll help me keep my eyes where they should be, help me keep my heart focused where it should be. It's in John chapter three. It's John the Baptist, and he has so many amazing things to teach us in the way that he approached life. We can learn so much from him. And this is one of the things that he says. It's, I'm gonna read verse 29 as well, but I wanna start just with verse 30, and then I'll do 29 and 30 together. Verse 30, John the Baptist says, he, being Jesus, must increase, but I must decrease. He must increase, but I must decrease. See, John's disciples had come to him and they said, John, John, Jesus' disciples are baptizing more people than you are, more people than we are. You, and they wanted him to be concerned. They wanted him to be wondering, what do I need to do to begin increasing my numbers? It sounds pretty familiar to me in a church type setting. You know, oh, look, that guy's getting, he's increasing. We're not increasing, or at least not at that rate. What do we need to do? And John, in that whole situation, looking at everything from a totally different perspective, one that's really more of a heavenly perspective, recognizes this thing. He says, the one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The church is Jesus's bride, and he is the bridegroom. The church belongs to no one else. And John recognizes that. And he said, the friend of the bridegroom, which is us, which is John, who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He says, I know who that is. That's Jesus. That's the bridegroom. That's the Messiah. That's the one we've been waiting for. And I know it. And I've heard his voice. I recognize who he is. And so my joy is complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. So in this holiday season, I want to challenge you and I want to challenge myself to increase Jesus' involvement 
I want to increase my focus on Jesus. I want to increase my focus on what this Christmas season, this holiday season is really all about. It's not about me. It's not about presents. It's not about gifts that I'm giving. It's not about huge feasts and get-togethers and parties. It's not about all the things that our culture has made it about. It's really about Jesus. And so I want to increase my level of focus on Jesus throughout this season. And I want to decrease my level of focus on whether or not I'm going to get what I want for Christmas or whether or not I'm giving the perfect gift or whether or not so-and-so is going to be at this gathering that we're having, at this party, or whether or not I'm going to be able to make all of the Christmas gatherings that we've got scheduled on the calendar. Instead, I want to focus on Jesus and I want to focus on celebrating his first coming and keeping an eye on the second at the same time. And I hope that's a challenge for you, and I hope it encourages you in this season that it's okay to take a step back, take a deep breath, and focus on the real reason that we celebrate at this time of year. If this has been encouraging to you, it has been a challenge, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button so that you get notified every time that we post new content, you can be the first one to watch it. Make sure you hit that bell as well, because that's going to give you that little notification up in the corner with the bell in your browser. That way you don't miss a single video and you and I can continue to walk through our discipleship journey together. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of it today. I hope that going forward, we can continue to walk together. As always, I'm Pastor David and I'm out.